Hey 3D Printer Nerds, Alan here. If you saw my last video, you know I've laid out a rough plan for making real-life Spider-Man web shooters, and part of that plan involves mini grappling hooks. Right now, I'm actually renovating and reorganizing my entire workspace so that it'll be better suited for metalworking, but until then, I still want to experiment with some mini grappling hooks, so I thought, why not 3D print some? This is a terrible idea. So, let's get started. All that's left to do now is to test it. There's not a lot of room in the garage, so we're actually gonna head over to the Muscle Beach Playground here in California. There we go. There, I think I got it. Here goes nothing. Whoa! Yes! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> the breaker! Let's take a look at that. Oh no, it totally broke in half. It's a lot to ask for from PLA, I guess. I'm actually really sad about that. Here's a earlier version of the grappling hook that I made. It doesn't have as many hooks, so it might be harder to actually get stuck up there, but it is one solid piece instead of two slotted pieces. So maybe this one will hold. All right, we got it again. This takes forever to hook on though. That's definitely gonna be an issue. I don't know about this one. All right, I'm gonna give this one a good one. Whoa! Whoa! That's beautiful. That's holding. I didn't quite think through is I actually know how to get that down now. Maybe if we just shake it. <laughs> that might be stuck up there. <laughs> we did actually manage to get it down and check it out. There's actually no damage here. I was expecting to see maybe some rope burn or some maybe stress, but this thing held up perfectly. So obviously in the final project, I'm not gonna be using any load bearing 3D printed parts, but this was still a good test of small grappling hook dynamics. And the first thing I saw with small grappling hooks is they kind of suck at grappling. I was trying to replicate the proportions of Colin Furze's small Assassin's Creed grappling hook, and while they do eventually grab, it can take quite a few tries, which doesn't make for good web swinging. The challenge with firing a grappling hook is where you attach the line. Ideally, it goes at the bottom of the shaft, but if you do that, then it doesn't fit into the barrel of the gun. Most grappling guns I've seen get around this by having a hollow shaft that fits over the barrel, like a straw wrapper shooting off a straw. Or they have the claws fold up and fit the entire thing in a large diameter barrel. Those designs take up a lot of space, though, which is why I think Colin went with his clever flip-around grappling hook design, which is much more compact and a little more finicky. It looks like I'll have to keep playing around with launching methods and claw shapes, and it might depend heavily on where the final web shooter test happens, like if it's rafters inside a building or some kind of ninja warrior set I build myself. I hope you enjoyed watching me eat sand. Check the description for links to the grappling hook files if you want to print them yourself. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe so you can stay up to date with all my projects, and leave me a comment if you come up with a good grappling gun idea, because this is hard. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I got a lot of sand in my mouth. <laughs> Where do all these guys come from?